Hello everyone, my name is Lenny from Code with Lenny Len and in this fifth Python SQLite tutorial I'm going to show you how you can actually read from a database. So in the past tutorials we made a database, we inserted data but now we need to get the data. We want to read and see well what's in the data. So to do that we are going to write a simple script SQL command and this will get us working for this tutorial. So let's get started. So I'll open my script and uh, the last time what we did, we just inserted them manually. We inserted the records manually, but then we saw that inserting using a function is much, much better. So for now, I'm just going to comment this out. If you're using idle, that is in Python IDLE, you just press Alt 3 until automatically comment. And if you press Alt 4, it will uncomment. So for now, I'll just comment it out. And now we can get a new function that will be able to display our data. So let's do it. And so let me make some space. I'm just going to put some white space up here. There. So we can just say define read data. Not a very good uh, name, but to get us working out for this one so read data and what we need to do is just to create an object that will hold our data and this will be done by doing something quite like this so we can say data or data is equal to sql or not sql dbase dot execute and what are we executing an sql command so in between your multi-line comments well, this can actually be in only one line. We are going to say, um, um, is it fetch? Let me just think about this. But uh, it's, uh, oh yeah, it is select. So I'm going to say all caps, select, and we tell it what to select. So we say ID name division and stars. So I'm going to select the id name division and stars so you select all this just like telling it pick out id name division and stars then you just need to pick it but from where so you just go from which table did we create what was the name employee records so employee underscore records so that's just a simple sql command and that's done so now we have our data it just says select id named vision and stars from employee records which is our ah I'm very sorry about that helicopter a lot of noise in the background but what i was saying is that we just created a variable data that will we used to, to execute this command so database that execute select id name division and stars from the employee records and what this is going to do is just going to create an object for us to work with so for us to view this data we want to print it out but we have the id name division and stars so these are different uh, types of data and for us to go around this what we can do is just um iterate so you know the for loop and this is actually something that i'm going to use so for record in data so for everything that you're fetched in uh, from the variable here this object that we just created so for record in data what do you want to do you want to print and for the first one we want to print the id so i'll just going to say id and we just put here and we say record now this indexing i hope you've learned about uh indexing in python that's a basic python stuff that i'm doing here so nothing too much that is going to get you off and uh so because i'm going to be working with all this stuff i'm just going to say plus strings and because this is python 3 we have to do a lot of stuff to our data you can skip this stringify method this is not a must but it's going to be useful because all this will become a strings will be read as strings 
and not integers or anything so plus and this is a just a new line character and what this does is just going to create a new line so that we can go to the next line and do more stuff so we're going to copy that and we're going to paste 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 so id then we have the name whoops then we have the division and finally the stars then in our records we're going to go plus one so that's one that's two and that's three so theoretically this should work right now very well because we have our data object which is getting all the data from our employee records table then it's iterating through all the records and giving us the records so in this last one after stars we can just add two new lines so that we can be able to see another record for another person coming in and so on and so forth so let's run this let's go to read data paste it there oops i did not copy copy and paste then run hopefully we did everything well as you can see sql is so simple and uh, if everything has worked out correctly we should get our data whoops near division syntax error so let's just fix this and uh, while I'm thinking about this, let me just pause a bit, then I'll come back with solution to this problem. So I'm back and I found the, uh, an error. And the reason why we got the error is because I had forgotten the comma. So it was a syntax error. So id name division star. So hopefully this will run this time. Okay. And as you can see now we have our data so we have the ID we have the name division and stars but for now I can see there are too many white spaces so let's just fix that quite fast add back to a script and get rid of this line, new lines and maybe for the last record we can just leave one new line so run again and now our data is well organized so you can see the id name division stars and of every employee in the record so the database was open we read everything after inserting the things that we needed to insert then now we've closed the database but there's something else you can do with this uh, read for example you just want to read the names you will just do this I'll comment that out and i'll say name all name then here we are going to delete all of this we only want to show the name right so save so select name from employee then run and now you can see we have all the names you have Lenny, Cynthia, Harrison, Joanne, James and Bob then the database was automatically closed so the last thing that you can do is just select all instead of specific data maybe you just want to show all the records you can just say select star and in python you know star means all just like you will do something like this um, from maybe from math I hope you know the math module import all so that's the same case in SQL so select all from employee records and I'll just change everything here back to normal so select all that alt 4 and that will uncomment it then if we run it this time we get now if we run it we now see that we get everything just the same as before and the last bit of this that I think is still important in uh, showing the records is that you might want to order them so you just say order by maybe name save and after running everything is well arranged according to the alphabetical order of the name so stay tuned for the next tutorial and as always thanks for watching